everything you want but you can't have number one regret no take backs the hole in your chest that's payback payback yeah you better take that you could call me selfish you could have gone like a date the blame just like i could take a match and send it up the flame don't say i didn't want that this my hurt but that's just karma You guys ready for this? What we're playing today, as a surprise, because I downloaded it last night, or actually, well, you know, this morning, actually, like a couple hours ago, we are playing Poppy Playtime. <laughs> I am, I am fully ready to like shit my pants with this. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> we're we're playing Poppy Playtime. So, uh, yeah, uh, just let me get my fan and stuff on. Give me a sec, because I forgot to turn it on. And hopefully it's not too loud. Let me know if the audio is too loud. Give me a sec here. That goes on. Um, let's see. This goes on. <clears throat> I always forget to turn my fans on before I start my game. <laughs> oh, I'm excited about this. Oh my gosh. Just give me a sec, you guys. I gotta, gotta get this uh, whole set up a little bit here. Should have done this before I started the stream, but yeah. Still a bit of a novice, uh, um, there we go. Playtime Co. You finally returned to the factory many years after everybody within disappeared. That is not creepy at all. Huggy Wuggy is not creepy at all. Nope. Not at all. You are about to see the most incredible doll ever invented. 
Her name is Poppy, and she is the first truly intelligent doll in the world. A little girl can talk to her. Poppy gives her answers. She is the first doll actually able to have a conversation with a child. Hard to believe? Just watch. I think my sensitivity is up too high for this. Give me a sec. Mm. Oop, that dropped really low. Okay, that that's better. Had had to adjust my uh my PNG. Very nice you. Why, of course, Poppy. Just like a real girl, Poppy always wants to look her best. Perfect. Thank you. Her hair is dirty and won't come out when you brush it, and smells just like a poppy flower. Is there anything else you'd like to say, Poppy? I'm a real girl, just like you. What's the time? Playtime! And if you've ever wanted to see how... Shouldn't there be a cutscene here? What's going on? What? I'm, I'm very confused right now. Shouldn't there be a cutscene here? Factory on Earth. What are you waiting for? Come visit the factory. We can... I see his black screen. I don't like this. Is this game not stream friendly? What the hell? So guys, give me a sec here. I don't know what's going on. Sorry guys. Hey Mona, just give me give me a sec here. I'm having issues. I don't know why. Um it's not showing up on on the uh, on the stream, which is not good. Um, I'm hoping I can fix it. <laughs> Let's try this again. Yeah, spooky image. If this doesn't work, I'll uh, try and do like FNAF or something. But um, This is a little weird. <laughs> like it's being really wonky right now, which is frustrating me. Like the title screen shows up. Yeah. Yeah, it's Poppy Playtime. <laughs> okay, so that shows up. Please work. You are about to see the most incredible doll ever invented. Her name is Poppy, and she is the first truly intelligent doll in the world. A little girl can talk to her. Poppy gives her answers. She is the first doll actually able to have a conversation with a child. Hard to believe? Just watch. Poppy Playtime! Poppy's as lovable as a real girl, and she talks like one, too. Hi, my name Okay. I don't know what's going on with this. Hi, Hugh. Why, of course, Poppy. Just like a real... 
Maybe this isn't stream friendly? Or maybe there's just something really fucking up. <sighs> God damn it. Mm -hmm. What do I do? How do I fix this? I'm gonna try verifying the uh, files. Maybe that'll help. So, um, sorry, sorry about the uh, <laughs> the technical difficulties. I don't usually have issues like this. Um, I'm just I'm really frustrated right now. I don't know what's going on. It's a little frustrating, honestly. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with it. it oh, oh, I'm just getting black screen, and that that's not good. But anyways, how how are you guys today? <laughs> Yay for technical difficulties, am I right? If this doesn't work after I've uh, verified the files, I'm just gonna jump to Baldur's Gate. Because <laughs> th this is frustrating. Hopefully the uh, verification will work. Okay, I'm gonna try this one more time. And again, if it doesn't work, I'll just I'll just switch to Baldur's Gate three. Even though I want to play it on Thursday, but I can figure something else out on Thursday. Fingers crossed, this works. One more time. You are about to see okay. the most incredible doll ever. In All right, this is not working, and I don't know why, and I hate it. I am switching to Baldur's Gate three. I'm. I'm. I don't have patience for this.
So guys, I really wanted to play Pop Play Playtime, but it, it's not working. Sorry. At least I know Baldur's Gate 3 works. Didn't want to play it today, but it, I don't really have a choice right now. Because I, I do want to, like, actually fucking stream today. <laughs> Spear me screen real quick here. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Yeah, there we go. Okay, here we go. It's dirge time. So lastly, we left off with this, which was, what, two weeks ago, because I've been having issues. Um, like, ankle and stuff like that. Um, we left off when, when the uh, tiefling party was just starting. something real quick here. That is a bot. Get fucked, bot. Shoot. No bots allowed. <laughs> right. Okay. Let's do this. <sighs> Hate it when things don't work. It's actually frustrating. <laughs> okay. 
Okay. screen a little, the play screen a little, little smaller, so it's not like, okay, there we go, that's better. Here is my dark, sorry, my dark urge drow sorcerer. I love how she looks. I, ugh, I, I love how she looks. Okay. Um, let's talk to you, sorry, I want to have a word. <laughs> Welcome back, Vesper. <laughs> you know, I never pictured myself as a hero. This is awful. True. That was fun. Still, I would have liked more for my trouble than a pat on the head and vinegar for wine. It's a heavy, rich red. Dry and sharp. See what I mean? Awful. <laughs> All I want is a little fun. Is that so much to ask? By the hells. Sex, my dear. <laughs> a night of passion. <laughs> and not with you, just to be clear. Ouch. I mean, can you imagine? <laughs> Ugh. No. Ouch. Jesus, Astarion. Anyway, don't let me keep you. I'm sure you have someone else to sniff around. Well, that was very ass fresh of him. Okay, um, let's go. Poppy playtime wasn't working. Everyone seems to be in high spirits. Strange. You know who I never thought I'd find myself caring for? Desperate people. Refugees. Never gave them much thought. Certainly not that bunch in the grove. Yet we came through for them. We saved their lives. Odd. Yeah, it, um, I or got this black screen. So I'm gonna, gonna try and fix it. Maybe do that on Thursday if I can fix it. That's more easily said by some than others. But nobody's here to debate right from wrong. Share a bottle with me? We should wait a little while. Until the others have drifted off. Oh my. Best not keep me waiting. I'd prefer not to entertain myself. Oh my. Oh, she's water everywhere. That, that's not good. I 
don't know why everybody's like gold glowy, but I'm not mad about it. It's just confusing. Thank you. There's that confidence I like. I thank you for seeking me out. Amid all this merriment, I wasn't sure we'd have a chance to speak this evening. I was hoping you'd spare me a moment. There was something rather magical I wished to show you. Oh. More's the pity you've already found someone else to make merry with. Just the two of you. There's something unspeakable about Shallow Heart. But I mean that in a good way. She seems to me like a bud on the cusp of bursting into a rose. That, or deadly nightshade. <laughs> Far be it from me, of course, to question your tastes. Oh. Oh, uh, um, okay. Uh, question. <laughs> Should I go with Shadow Heart or Gale? Because <laughs> I'm conflicted. Sorry to everybody, um, the reason why it's so quiet right now is because I'm waiting for ads to, to end. Um, you can't see it on the, the VOD here, but like, yeah, I, I have ads, so I have to wait. So I'm going with Gale. Indeed. I'm glad you feel the same way. But while I'm eager to enjoy your company on an exclusive basis later this evening, it will be selfish to keep you to myself before then. Aww. So please, go. Enjoy the festivities. So Anticipation will only make our reunion the sweeter. This vessel is at thine disposal. Do what thou wilt. Seems simple enough. Time to press ahead. Patience? Have you no respect for showmanship? Having performance issues, Roland. Hush you, and behold! Adoring applause, 
You're too kind. Remember when he could barely cast that? They grow up so fast. Never have I met such troglodytes. Now, pass the wine. There's promise in patience, I assure you. Let the night run its course so that we can run ours as well. of celebration quiets to a soothing hum as you approach your bunk. Though you seek repose, you needn't spend the night alone. There is one who yearns for you in the dark. Who will you seek? Your heart skips a beat. What treasures might this night bestow? Oh, my, you startled me. I, uh, it's miles away. More or less, I was lost in prayer, of all things. Mistra, for indeed it was her image I conjured, commands all magic. Salvation, if such a thing exists, is hers to bestow. Or withhold. And yet even now, more than I fear losing my own self and soul, I fear losing my command of her art. Magic is... my life. I've been in touch with the Weave for as long as I can remember. There's nothing like it. It's like music, poetry, physical beauty, all rolled into one and given expression through the senses. Is it the same for you? Perhaps we can share the experience by reaching into the weave together. Then follow my lead. Now you. something strange, like a kind word and a kind touch at the same time. It's warm and comfortable. Excellent. Now, repeat after me. Athra Mistra Ril Kantrak Eo. of rose water and a sense of well-being, a sliver of weave that tastes sweet on the tongue. 
Very good. Now, I want you to picture in your mind the concept of harmony. As true as you can. Concept of harmony. See, deep with your magic it is who you are, it is home. I love this. You see, oh, is it sense? The unmistakable presence of Mistra, the Lady of Mysteries. There's something like the anticipation of a kiss, then the pleasure of being cloaked in peace. You are safe. You are nestled in the cup of Mistra's hand. <laughs> you did it! You're channeling the weave! How does it feel? Oh, I know. The weave connects you. The moment feels intimate. You realize the weave is making you one. You have but to imagine your desire and Gale will know it. One, two, or three. You know what? Gurgles. I... I didn't think. You perceive quick-fire gusts of embarrassment, <laughs> trepidation, and finally, elation. Sorry, I wasn't expecting... But it is a pleasant image, to be sure. Most pleasant, in fact. Most welcome. The weave evaporates, and as it does so, you realize the night feels suddenly cold and lonesome. Oh, there it goes. How easily things slip away from us, no matter how hard they were in the obtaining. Good night. Aww. I enjoyed sharing a moment of magic with you. That's kind of cute though, I gotta admit. <sighs> well. Maybe it was too soon. But you I know. trust you enjoyed your evening. After all your efforts, it was well deserved. It may be some time before you're afforded another such night. There is much to be done, and I promised I would help you however I could. I'm certain a cure for you can be found at Moonrise Towers, but it's complicated. The journey specifically, it's extremely perilous, though it seems you're well accustomed to navigating danger. I suppose it was too much to hope we were going to be cured here and now. To Moonrise, then. Give me a sec. It shows what. Hang on. Hot cross potatoes. Hello, welcome to the stream. Give me just a sec here. So, Vesper, what that does is. I will show you. Give me a sec. Um. Okay, hold on. Come on, why is it not working? It's supposed to show my webcam. Hold on. It's being a bit of a butt. Hold on. For some reason, my cam's not working. Give me just a sec. Okay. That should work, hopefully. 
hang on. Oh, there we go. Okay, I think my camera's broken or something. Also, stretch, stretching, stretching. Okay, that's better. Thank you for the stretch. I, I don't know why the webcam's not working. Why aren't she working? Okay, it's being a butt. I'm gonna have to, um... Yeah, seems so. Frick. I'm gonna have to get rid of that, um... Uh, reward. Because my webcam's not working. Oh, wait. Okay, it's working now. Okay, but why isn't it showing up? Um... Hold on. It's not working. Why? Hold on. I'm gonna remove it and then put it back up. Hold on. Add. Add. Your capture device? Yeah, it's not working. Why is it not working? Sorry guys, give me a sec. For some reason my webcam is not working. Hydrate. Uh, give me a sec. Gotta open another Pepsi. Hot Crush Potatoes, who are you? <laughs> Please, tell me your name so I can address you properly. Vesper's cousin. Restrictions. What what restrictions? There there shouldn't be any restrictions on here. Cause it's not like followers only or anything. Hold on. I think I know what's going on. Hang on a second. Let me let me fix that. Cause I've got the follow right, I've got the follow just cooled down. Hold on. Ah Okay. Oh, I will fix that. Hold on. I'm gonna put on a uh, BRB real quick here.
It, it really is. I have to figure out what happened with it. Yes, hello hot cross potatoes. Welcome, welcome to my stream. Um, I hope you enjoy. Hope you enjoy. <laughs> Wait. There's more you need to know. To get to the towers, Thank you. you'll need Your to pass through a point. terrible place. A cursed place. That's this curse thing. shrouds everything in shadow. You will not find life, light, or anything natural there. Any who linger are twisted by the curse. They become shadow beings, tormented, dangerous souls. <laughs> So it seems, though I don't know how. You'll have to choose your approach carefully. You could yeah, go that's overland, true. That's true. along the Risen Road or through the mountains. Easier at first, but you'll run into the Shadow Curse eventually. You could also go under. There is a tunnel somewhere in the ruined Temple of Saluna. It leads to Moonrise Towers through the Underdark. Long ago, a man called Ketherick Thorm built a secret stronghold deep down there before rallying a whole army of Dark Justicias, Shah worshippers. Dark Justicias? I must see for myself. Aridan and his lot were looking for a way down there. They were promised riches if they retrieved a relic called the Night Song. But I think there's more. From this stronghold, Ketherick's forces could access both the Temple of Saluna and Moonrise Towers. But he was defeated before he could launch an attack. If you can find this place, I'll wager it will reveal a more direct path to Moonrise Towers. And maybe even bypass the worst of the Shadow Curse. But, no, seriously, Vesper, you are fucking awesome. So don't... don't undersell yourself here. Seriously. Stop, 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 stop it. <laughs> Which one I should do? Should I go with the, like the draw choices? Mm, I don't know what to do right now. Hold on. Sorry, asking friends for help here because they've played Baldur's Gate 3. <laughs> okay, so apparently I can do both, so... Okay, we're good. <laughs> we <clears throat> are gonna do You both. may reconsider once you see the effects of the curse for yourself. I would like to join your camp, if you'll allow me. I can offer my skills, my counsel. I've long sought to return to Moonrise Towers. It seems our fates have aligned. I advise you start in the Temple of Saluna. If you find the Dark Justice Year's hidden entrance, it could lead you all the way to Moonrise. One of the- Aww, okay. Well, thank you for joining in. I really appreciate it, thank you. May Sylvanas guide us. Mm. Yeah, sorry guys, give me just a sec here. I think I have another bot in the stream. Yep, I do. Okay. Banning that bot.
Get fucked, bot. <laughs> so flat toned. <laughs> um, it means, um, straighten up. Like, check my posture kind of thing. Shrimping is like, you know how, like, when you're at your computer, you, like, bend over and you look like a shrimp? That's what shrimping is. So if you say, if you do the thing, like, stop shrimping, I will, like, I can sit up straighter. I can check my posture pretty much. Yeah, it, it pretty much just tells me to straighten the fuck up and like stop like Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and I just like straightened up as you said stop shrimping. I was like or like when you said shrimping, I was like, oh fuck. And I just like straightened my back. So. <laughs> I kinda do with like more fun rewards, I just I don't know what to do. <laughs> Yeah, I think everybody does. I've known a few warlocks in my time. Talented, of course, though sometimes too eager to listen to the devils on their shoulders. <laughs> Comes with the territory, unfortunately. Oh, I was surprised. But pleasantly so. Just like I said, amid the madness that has befallen us. Seems almost out of place to think of a kiss. And yet, now more than ever, it's important to recall what makes us human. Well, you know what I mean. A stolen glance, that sudden heartbeat. Sometimes the little things are worth more than kingdoms. They promise things to come. He's a bit of a romantic, it seems. Right, we're leaving camp. There's something I want to talk to you about. Something important. I could have died in that pod, back on the Nautiloid. You could have died, spending precious moments trying to free me, but you did it anyway. I owe you my life. I'm trying to say that you've earned my trust in a way very few ever have. I want that to mean something. I want you to know more about me, at least from what I can remember. Oh, I shut up. As long as I prayed to Lady Shah, I wished to serve her as a dark justicia. There is scarcely a greater way to fully dedicate yourself to Lady Shah, save perhaps if you become the head of her church. To become a dark justicia is to become the Night Singer's sword arm her implement with which she will cast down the unbelievers and win the final battle to restore her perfect, endless darkness. It's all I ever wanted. I prayed it was my calling. But Mother forbid me from seeking to prove myself worthy of the rank. She said I was not ready. Not my mother, Mother, I should add. The Mother Superior, head of Lady Shah's enclave in Baldur's Gate. Sometimes I wonder if she would ever deem me ready. I think I figured out a reward. Hold on, I'm gonna adjust the awards a little bit. <laughs> that little dancing dino looks so cute. Wait on that, hold on. Gimme, give gimme give just a sec, I have an idea. 
because apparently I'm a good singer according to my friends. So, okay. Oops, one thing.
Can you hear it now? Can, can, can you hear me? Yeah, the pause screen uh, mutes all the sound except for the music, like on the pause screen. Yeah, that's because it was on the pause screen, it does that. <laughs> only the beginning. An army soon crosses the coast. Halsing's cancelled the right. The brood is exposed. Okay. And we've you easier. to thank. Sylvanus have pity. Twitch can be a bit of a butt at times. Sorry. Tieflings have moved on. We can restore the harmony of the grove now. You're a true soul. You can't die. Please, stay with us. I, I don't think he's conscious. C can you hear us, Ed? You, not a step closer. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. An oil bear got him deep. If there's anything you can do... I'm watching you. 
The injured man locks eyes with you. A familiar squirming chains in your head. Useless. Your minds intertwine. You see his siblings, Andrik and Brenner. New recruits. Yours to shepherd. Protect them. She is a true soul. Mind her. She will... She... She... Edwin! Ed! Please! He's with the Absolute now. You're... You're a true soul. Edwin, our brother, he was chosen. Like you. Do you have orders for us? We were reporting to Edwin. What? And, and just... Leave Ed? I suppose... I suppose he'd want us to go on. Find a way to honor his sacrifice. May the Absolute guide us. He spoke of the Absolute. Same as that goblin, Sazza. Strange power resonates within the corpse. It calls to you. You know what to do. Don't be afraid. Most corpses feel like toys before you, to be played with and discarded when you tire. This body seems different. A friend calls out from the corpse, desperate to be freed. Why let its host's memories go to waste? The tadpole has absorbed it all. Its experience could nourish you, strengthen you. Your muscles loosen. The tadpole breaks free of its deceased host. Your mind is your own again. You're not ready. It's all right.
see a name etched into the leather. Scratch. The dog lowers his hackles, his head tilted inquisitively. Convinced that you're harmless, he turns his attention back to the corpse. With a deep, heartbroken whine, the dog bows his head. The dog looks at his owner with sad eyes. He does not move. The dog sniffs your hand, his tail swung low in understanding. He knows how to find you.
Um, so we can magic weapon.
the key there. My, my, what manner of place is this? A path to redemption? Or a road to damnation? Hard to say, for your journey is just beginning. What would suit the occasion? Hmm. The words to a lullaby, perhaps? The mouse smiled brightly. It outfoxed the cat. Then down came the claw. And that? Love. Was that? <laughs> they do know how to write them in Cormier, don't they? Well met, I am Raphael. Very much at your service. It's not every day one meets such a cavalier sinner as yourself. A true bloody pleasure. Neither. The fox, rather. Hiding, in a word. A silent observer about to break the silence. Of course, what I have to say merits some privacy, as well as some more, let's call it, refinement. This quaint little scene is decidedly too middle of nowhere for my tastes. Come. What the fuck? Oh, he's confusing. He's very confusing. Oh, wow. There, middle of somewhere. The house of hope, where the tired come to rest and the famished come to feed lavishly. Go on, partake, enjoy your supper. After all, it might just be your last. <laughs> Are you not entertained? What's better than a devil you don't know? <laughs> a devil you do. Am I a friend? Potentially. An adversary? Conceivably. But a savior? That's for certain. Because my compassion is boundless. I stride among the needy, giving comfort where I can. And you're in dire need. One skull, two tenants, and no solution in sight. I could fix it all like that. Oh, that's disappointing. I prefer it when my clients put up a fight. Only to realize victory was never an option. Try to cure yourself. Shop around. Beg, borrow, and steal. Exhaust every possibility until none are left. And when hope has been whittled down to the very marrow of despair, that's when you'll come knocking on my door. 
hope. <laughs> Such a tease. It's not working. I'll be around, watching you squirm like a tadpole through a nice, juicy brain. All those pretty little symptoms, sundering skin, dissolving guts, they haven't manifested yet, have they? One might say, you're a paragon of luck. I'll be there when it runs out. My condition likes being ignored as little as I do. I must consume another artifact. And soon. Thank you. has any effect. Oh, Mr. have mercy on us all. Listen, I need to speak to you, to all of you. It would be unconscionable of me to remain silent. I might just be about to remedy that. You have to know who I was. You have to know who I really am. What I am is a walking shadow of the promise I once held. I'm what one might call a wizard prodigy from an early age could not only control the weave, but compose it, much like a musician or a poet. Such was my skill that it earned me the attention of the mother of magic herself, the lady of mysteries, the goddess Mistra. She revealed herself to me and she became my teacher. In time, she became my muse, and later even my lover. Oh, yes. We enjoyed each other's company. Body, mind, and soul. But even so, I desired more. You see, no matter how powerful a wizard we mortals can become, we never scratch more than the surface of the weave. Mistra keeps us in check. There are boundaries she doesn't let us cross. Yet, every time I was with her, I stood on the precipice gazing into the wonders that lay beyond. I sought to cross her boundaries. I tried to convince her. I pouted. I pleaded. I swore my ambition was only to serve her better. She only smiled and told me to be contented. Inconceivable as it seems to me now, I shared a bed with a goddess, and yet I wasn't satisfied. So I sought to prove myself worthy to her instead. We come now to the crux of my folly. Shall I share the story behind it, or would you rather head straight to its sordid finale? Very well. Here goes. 
Once upon a very long time ago, a mighty lord lived in a tower, a flying tower, to be precise. I'll save his history for another time, but the gist of it is that he sought to usurp the goddess of magic so that he could become a god himself. And he almost managed, but not quite. And his entire empire, Netheril, came crashing down around him as he turned to stone. The magic that was unleashed that day was phenomenal. Roiling like the prime chaos that outdates creation. Even the weave itself could not withstand the onslaught. Fractured then shattered and all magic was lost to the mortal realms until the day Mistra returned. She restored the weave, reuniting all its scattered shards. Or so I thought, until, in the course of my studies, I learned of a book, a netherese tome in which a piece of the fractured weave had been sealed beyond her reach. What if, I thought, what if, after all this time, I could return this lost part of herself to the goddess? The answer was to try. And the outcome was to fail. I was certain that this deed of raw power, draped in romance, would convince Mistra to take me by the hand and welcome me into her hitherto forbidden domains. I was mistaken. I obtained the fabled book and took it into my study. As for what happened next, here, place your hand over my heart. Let me show you. You feel the tadpole quiver as you realize Gale is letting you in into the dark. You see through Gale's eyes, staring down the corridors of a dread memory. A book bound and suddenly opened. Inside there are no pages, only a swirling mass of blackest weave that pounces. Its teeth, its claws, it's unstoppable as it digs through and becomes part of you. Gods, is it ever hungry? Thankfully, the moment I absorbed the fragment wasn't enough to kill me outright. It was only the beginning. This netherese blight, this orb for lack of a better word, is balled up inside my chest. And it needs to be fed. As long as I absorb traces of the weave from potent enough sources, it remains quiet. Were it ever to fully destabilize, however. Rather worse, actually. I will erupt. I don't know the exact magnitude of the eruption, but given my studies of netherese magic, I'd say even a fragment as small as the one I carry. It'd level a city the size of Waterdeep. I know. All of this. It must feel like a betrayal. Say the word, and we'll part ways. That is a great relief. Oh, a great relief indeed. You truly are a soul that steals my own. From all my new rallied heart, I thank you. I thank you all. I understand if you stand against me. I'm humbled if you stand with me. Either way, I will do my best not to let you down. I stand at a precipice. But if you do not give up hope, neither shall I. I'll fight. I'll resist as long as I can. Now. Even I am tired of the sound of my own voice. Let us venture forth. Okay. 
Where are we going? I'm going to find a way to get to Carlac over here, but I don't know how. There's got to be a way to get to her. I'll figure it out. Something good here, I hope. Beautiful broken heap smells oddly enticing. You find you can't resist inhaling her offals. You hear what comes next before you see it. The sharp snapping of bones and a yelp of pain as her body starts to twist and undulate. against her skull. She yelps, then goes still. Whatever horrific creature was growing inside the hyena dies along with her. Oh, looks like I'm fighting hyenas. Gods are watching me. Around. Predators like these and smells. 
stream in red. Very well. One horn. This is the devil Will has been tasked to kill. Never been better. Oh, fuck me. It's you from the Nautiloid. Please tell me I found you before those so called paladins of Tear did. Now that's a story, and I'll tell it to you, but truth be told, we shouldn't stay here too long. See, these paladins of... A great heat roars through you. Her heat, fiery as the hells. Then you're lost in visions of demonic armies. As you tear through a landscape of fire and blood. The blood war. You saw it from above as the Nautiloid passed through Avernus. This woman was on the front line. Mountains as far as the eye can see. Guess that explains the voices. From that peak I got into your head, you've made some inroads trying to get the thing sorted. But alas, no joy. I'm Karlak, and you are... Well met, soldier. Now that we're old pals, how would you feel about helping me... A little background if your moral compass needs something to point at. You already know I fought in the Blood War. I was good at killing demons. Really good. So good, Zariel, the Archdevil herself, made me her personal attack dog. I played along until I could get the fuck out of there. It took me 10 years to probably escape, but now I'm free. Zariel sent goon after goon to hunt me down. But believe me when I tell you, I'm not going. The latest yappy little dog she sicked on me are nearby. A group of dopes posing as paladins of tear. Want to help me take them down? Don't worry, I'll lead the charge. But I could use your help. There's a lot of them and only one of me. After that, we can team up. Take Faerun by the short hairs. Sound good? I like her. She looks like she could throw me over her shoulder and carry me to safety. Should the need arise. Fuck yes. They cornered me outside the toll house just up the hill. Doubt they've gone far after the scorching I gave them. Hang on though. Looks like you've got enough backup at your side. Not sure there's room for me. I'll catch up with you when it's time to camp for now but don't get to any of the fun stuff without me. Got it? Oh, God, I love her. Oh, my God. Oh, I love Oh. No pun intended, but she's hot. Okay, I'm going to take a break real quick. Um, I need to make some food, so I will be right back, you guys.
sorry, mic was off. <laughs> Alright, so, let's continue. Let's see if real quick. This vessel is at thine disposal. Do what thou wilt. Thou art the master, so it shall be. One horn, the stink of Avernus, Advocatus Diaboli. Well, I'll be God's damned. The Blade of Frontiers. I thought I'd shaken you for good. That'll teach me to underestimate you. Karlak, the Archdevil Zeriel's gladiator, come to burn the Sword Coast to ash. Well, not counting the fuckers that need a good hurting. Shut it, devil. I know your kind. A heart darker than a shadow's nightmares. You'd cut a child's throat just to taste the blood. A devil? I didn't take the blade for a fool. I'm... Oh, a great fire roars through you. The fire of the first hell. You are Karnak, tearing through demons across a blood-red landscape of fire and volcanic cinder. The front lines of the Blood War. With every swing of her axe, Karlak fulfills Mistress Zariel's purpose. Proof! Clear as summer sky. It's over, Karlak. It's time you feel the sting of the blade. I've tried to tell you. I'm not what you think I am. Another vision. Karlak's blade rays slicing through devils, Zariel's servants, as her eyes dart around, seeking escape. Will shudders with Karlak's desperation. She is a victim of the Blood War, not an agent of it. By Baldurin's helm, I... No, I will not be tricked. You saw the truth. I may be an effective soldier, but I never wanted to serve Zariel. Legged it away from her the first chance I got. And yet you served. Will catches his breath and his lips straighten. Sheer dread twists his face. No! Devils cannot be trusted! You know monsters better than anyone. Can't you look in my eyes and see I'm not a devil? You don't know what this means. You don't know what you're asking me to do. I'm asking you to live, Will. I don't want to hurt you. And to be frank, I'd rather not find out how the Blade got his name. I swear to you, on all I am, I am not what you think. Shit! Shit. You really are no devil, are you? I've... I've been deceived. Ah, oh, thank the gods. I thought I was gonna have to take your head. <laughs> you would have died in the attempt. But there have been enough threats today. Truce then, eh? Aye. Truce. I see the good in you, Karlak. I promise not to lose sight of it. Even when the hells burn hottest. Glad Will saw sense. Even more glad he decided to stick around. 
Takes a pretty slick mover to track down old Karlak. Fair. <laughs> but still, the man's got a reputation for being lethal with that blade. I'm glad it's on our side. Thank goodness that's all dealt with. The odds are stacked high enough against us already. No need to turn on each other. Ah, yes. Carsus. Carsus was perhaps the most powerful wizard that ever lived. The child who would be a god, the elves called him. And he tried. With a spell of his own devising, he endeavoured to usurp in one fell swoop the power of the goddess of magic. Mistril, she was called then. Imagine what it must have felt like to be a god. To know yourself, to be untouchable. To be mistaken. As Carsus aimed his spell at her, she began to unravel. And with her, the entire weave. Too late did he realize what he had unleashed. It would have been the end of everything had not Mistral sacrificed herself. The goddess of magic is all magic. By dying, the entire weave was lost and the spell that challenged a god failed. It was the end of Mistral, the end of Carsus, and the end of an entire civilization. As the child who would be a god was turned to stone, his empire came crashing down around him. The floating cities of Netheril were no more, an event that came to be known as Carsus's folly. For a spell, Mistral was reborn as Mistra. Upon her return, the weave returned with her. Now, so many centuries later, I try to follow in the footsteps of Carsus, not to destroy Mistra, but to prove my love for her tried to control only a fraction of the magic that was unleashed that fateful day. I merely sought to return one tiny diamond to an imperfect crown. Gale's folly, one might call it. History. Repetition. It's the way things go. Better not be cursed. Soldier. Trust me, I'll tell you all about it after we take care of the goons on my tail. Aces. She's so cute. Uh, I'll talk to you. <laughs> Nothing like a little camp drama to spice up the evening. <laughs> it's almost a pity things ended so amicably. Seeing those two duke it out would be fun. Who knows? Drow? Mind flayers? Death? Hopefully not ours. But maybe answers. If we can convince the right people to talk. Could go for a good meal. I got a little car like up. This might take a few minutes. Okay, but I love her outfit. Ooh, she's a barbarian. Hell yes. Definitely use that.
I don't like that on here though. It's a little windy. Why is that so cool? I should speak up. Good thing for Will that Karlak called a truce. A tiefling that mighty would shred him to pieces and burn the remains. Now, what did you need? Father's blessings to you. <laughs> Wonderfully. If I'm honest, the grove was too comfortable for my tastes. I felt removed from nature. I'll miss my books. But I can find all the wisdom they contain out here firsthand. Is that so? <laughs> well, nature does abhor waste. I will keep watch. Thank you. I had a feeling time in your company would prove fruitful. It seems like Will and Karlak will play nice from now on. Saves us having to pick sides. I do enjoy our conversations. What do you need? If it should ever come to that, if I ever know I am no longer able to stop it, I will do anything I can to ensure no one but me pays for my mistakes. I will find the remotest place on the surface of Faerun, or perhaps far below in the depths of the Underdark. I will await that death alone. I promise I will not betray your trust. You kept me by your side despite the menace that I am. If worse comes to worst, I will be long gone before the curtain falls. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to just stop here for a couple of hours and just kind of recharge a bit. Because um, I am burning out a little bit. <laughs> um, I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to stop stream here for, for now. Um, I just... I need a break. Um, I will be back in a little bit, you guys. Okay? I'll see you then. Bye!